Hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video, I want to show you why we need multiple regression, why bivariate or simple linear regression model will not do. Suppose we have a situation where the dependent variable depends on two key independent variables, say x1 and x2, but we're only interested in the impact of x1 on x2, x1 on y, sorry. So why not just regress y on x1, ignoring x2? Well, we can't do this is because if x1 is correlated to x2, i.e. the independent variable we're interested in having an impact on y is correlated with any other key independent variables, then if we just run a simple linear regression, the coefficient will be biased, meaning that on average it will be too high or too low. So let's demonstrate that. Here we've got agricultural data, time series over eight years, yield in bushels per acre, rainfall in inches over period and temperature and Fahrenheit. What we see is that in Notepad I've opened up data, we see that they've got headers, meaning here they've got labels above each of these columns, they're not properly aligned. And that means when I load my data first, let's load my data, I use header true. So I'm using the command read.table, but I use header.true to let, tell R that uh, there's a header in the first column. Okay, since I use the file choose command, I can select the data. Alright, see that's in, let's type it in. Since it's a small data set, I can just uh, have a look at it. If the data set was massive, that would not be a good idea to bring this up. And there you go. I attach it so that all my commands will be on this data frame. Now here the DV is yield and the X is rainfall temperature. Say I'm interested in the impact of rainfall on yield. Is rain question is, is rainfall beneficial to yield, say. Okay, well let's ignore temperature then. And let's just run regression yield on rainfall. Bivariate regression. Summary R1. What would you expect? We exp you might expect the higher rainfall, you might expect rainfall to be beneficial to yield, so if there's more rainfall, yield may be higher. Let's see if that's the case. Alright, here's the coefficients. The coefficient on rainfall, the IV, is minus 1.667. If we just look at that coefficient, that tells us the more rainfall, the lower the yield, in other words, a negative correlation. But is it significant? No, it's not. So according to this, rainfall is not beneficial to yield. Well, how about temperature? Let's see, is temperature beneficial to yield? Summary of the regression. Okay, the coefficient on the slope parameter, temperature is plus 2, that means if we look at this, just this figure, that means if temperature goes up 1 degree Fahrenheit, then the yield will increase by 2 bushels per acre. Is it significant? Yes, it's significant at 5%, no, no not at 1%. It's got 1 star there. Correspond to significant at 5%. Right. But how about if we now include both of the independent variables? So it regress yield on both temperature and rainfall. So to do multiple regression we simply connect the IVs using a plus sign. Now the coefficient on temperature is positive. The coefficient on rainfall is suddenly now positive. From going from negative, it's gone to positive, which is kind of a sign that we'd expected. Is it significant? 
Yes, it now becomes significant. How about temperature? That's still significant. And temperature has gone higher than before because when we just did yield on temperature it was 2, now it's gone higher. 2.9, approximately 3. And rainfall, it's gone from a negative to a positive, so that's gone up as well. So basically both coefficients have gone up. And this is a demonstration of what I said at the beginning. Suppose your dependent variable is depends on more than one IV. And, think, and you thinking you could simplify the analysis by running several bivariate regressions of y on each IV to simplify the analysis. If you do that, then in general you're gonna the coefficients are going to be wrong. They're gonna to be too high on average or too low on average. The word we have for this is bias, we say that. Estimation method here being ordinary least squares or OLS is biased. Theoretically we can show it won't be biased if all the IVs are uncorrelated with each other. So in the extreme case where the set of IVs are uncorrelated to each other and you, instead of running one multiple regression, run several simple linear regression models, y on each of the x's, then the estimator will be unbiased. But that's extreme. More often than not it will be biased. If you want to read more about this, this comes on the topic of omitted variable bias. So the bias arises by omitting key IVs. Let's look at the correlation between the IVs here anyway. We'd expect there to be some uh, correlation because if there wasn't then those signs that wouldn't have changed, so, the magnitude wouldn't have changed so much. Oh, sorry. 1R for correlation in R. Negative 6.5 approximately. So that kind of gives you the idea that rainy seasons, if it's very rainy, tends to have a lower temperature. So that's the that's the key thing for today. Now finally, suppose that a farmer looked at this, then you might pose a question, is an irrigation system useful. Why we ask this is that in the model you see that the, the rain, the coefficient of the rainfall is positive, meaning that the more rainfall, the more, the higher the yield. Well, we can't answer that question just from this model because all this model says is that controlling for temperature, the more rainfall there is, the higher the yield. But what if the rainfall is benefiting yield because it's washing down nutrients from the mountains and the irrigation system would not be helpful. So in other words there's some other, there are other factors that we need to look at before we make such a decision. Okay that was just something to think about. All for today, hope that's been